Herbert Tua. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's how I feel, dude. Was it ever a debate, well, Colin? Really. Come on. Was... The headline this morning, Justin Herbert sets passing mark for three seasons into the league, which is amazing. He's had two coaches. One got fired, and we don't like this one. His offensive line was the worst in the league when he took over, and now it's injury riddled. Wasn't good last night in the right side. Uh, his receivers are never healthy until last night, and you saw what he did. So it's very interesting. The legit stars and the posers. We saw separation. Geno Smith without a run game. Pretty average, isn't he? Tua under pressure last couple of weeks. He's bad, isn't he? Please judge quarterbacks when life isn't perfect, when their O-line's banged up, when they're under pressure, when they're trailing late in games. Tua is small and brittle and not very athletic. Has he ever thrown a deep ball to Tyreek Hill that wasn't underthrown? But he has a clever, smart, smart head coach and unbelievable wide receiver, so he has fooled a lot of people. I had three friends at the game last night, and two of them were texting me driving home, and they're like, oh, it's actually worse in person. There's guys wide open for the Dolphins. He just can't get the ball to him. The Chargers, not much open. And Herbert's going to still have the night of his life. Justin Herbert was under constant duress. He's never had a coach we like. And he's breaking Andrew Luck's records. Justin Herbert deniers, to me, are election deniers. Can't reason with him. Just nod and walk away from the conversation. And bury that invitation to the holiday party, even if you're related to him. There are four absolutely great quarterback talents in this league, and they're all in their prime. Mahomes, Burrow, Josh Allen, and Justin Herbert. Some have a great coach. Some don't. Some have great weapons. Some, like Herbert's, are never healthy. Aaron Rodgers was there. He's declining. Jalen Hurts may get there. He's ascending. Not there yet. But those four are simply different. What I worry about, though, with Justin Herbert is the Chargers. Will he become the Nolan Ryan of the NFL? An iconic and beloved, awe-inspiring flamethrower. And then after all those years, he'll be slightly above 500 with some really cool records. That's what I worry about. With Tua, I wonder if he can stay healthy. With Herbert, I wonder... Will his franchise screw him over? That's the kind of talent he is. It's a once-in-a-lifetime thing. Brains A+. Plus. He was a 4-2 biology major who became a tutor. Arm A+. Plus. Size A+. Plus. Temperament A+. Plus. Listen, I got nothing against Tua. There's a reason the Dolphins tried to trade him for Deshaun Watson, sat him behind Ryan Fitzpatrick, and wanted to get rid of him for 44-year-old Tom Brady. Coaching can really... Elevate a player to a or disintegrate a quarterback. And we've seen that with Andrew Luck. I find myself with her doing Herbert doing this, crossing my fingers. God chargers, get him a legit head coach. Get him an offensive head coach. Get him a great staff. Somebody please draft a right tackle. That's all I worry about. Brandon Staley after the impressive win. Justin was fantastic tonight. He um, he definitely led the way for our team. I thought he played with great energy tonight uh, that really affected his teammates in a positive way. Just made a lot of winning plays, really good decisions throughout the game. And, you know, when you have all your weapons, you know, we're going to get DP back next week, so I'm not going to say all of them. But, you know, when you get Mike back in, in this movie, it just it looks different. It feels different. You know, there's just more available to you. I don't know what to make of Brandon Staley. I thought they had a very good game plan last night. Miami was beat up on the back end. I don't think he's an awful coach. But I do think when you get a Justin Herbert or a Patrick Mahomes or a Joe Burrow or a Josh Allen, a pretty good coach is probably not where you want to land. You want to get him an Andy Reid. You want to get him a Sean Payton. You want to get him somebody that's on the right side of the ball and next level. Because Justin Herbert, that is a once in a franchise player.